JoinPCTechForum.net is a new site. It's a way we'll be discussing everything related to tech news. They'll be discussing uh, the latest processors, graphic cards, laptops, hard drives, computer cases. They also have a section for pre-built PCs and custom-built PCs, and also a PC straight from the manufacturer. They also be discussing the operating systems and how to troubleshoot them. And said last but not least, they'll also be discussing the latest uh, games and business. The site is brand new, so people will join for the first time on there. So come and sign up today at pctechforum.net. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Angil Dalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from South Africa. A South African official angered many people on social media after a video went viral. Last one. <laughs> you speak Shona. And then how do you find yourself in Vila Vila <laughs> when you are supposed to be with Mundangago? You know he doesn't give me money to operate you guys. And I'm operating you with my limited budget. Oh, well, you can't appreciate that. You are killing, you are killing my health system. You are killing my health system. When you guys are sick, I'm hearing these days, you just say, let's cross the Mpopo River. There's an MEC there who's running charity department. It's not. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something that is truthful and painful. You know that SA goes and count people during the census and tell me that in Limpopo we have got 5.7 million people and tell me out of that 5.7 million, 91% do not have medical aid. They are dependent on the state. Uh, 9% they will say has got medical aid, they depend on private hospital. And then they go and give national treasure. When national treasury allocates its budget, they said Limpopo has got 5.7 million people and they subtract the 91, the 7%, 9% and they give me the budget of the 91 to do all these operations. Now, I am here, instead of using the budget for what it's meant for, I'm operating for what Munangwabwa is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why when my people of Limpopo want health services, they can't get. Mm -hmm. And that is angering the community. Mm -hmm. Because you are coming here to act hours in George Masai. Mm -hmm. We are busy operating with Mozambique and National everywhere. And you are not even registered anywhere. You are not counted. You are even illegal. And you are abusing me. This is unfair. It's unfair. I can't go to Zimbabwe and get help. As you saw in that clip, she's talking to a Zimbabwean uh, patient that uh, was going through surgery or um, we don't know exactly what the patient is there for. But, you know, she's telling her that um, I don't have a budget and now I have to cater to you and I have to use the resources for my people as well. And should she have said that to the patient? No. Did she use the right tone? No. Was it appropriate to say that? No. Was it ethical? No, but I see the point that she is trying to make. I get her point, but she's a doctor. And doctors have an oath that they need to abide by and they take that oath and they need to take it seriously. In that oath, they say, I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. So as a doctor that promised to do those things, she clearly didn't. She was talking to the patient that way and that's not the right way to go about it. I understand the point she's trying to make, which is there's a census that they take, the government, and in that census, illegal immigrants or people that are coming through that don't live in that area are not considered. So she gets money according to that census or percentage and 
she's gonna lack if she gives service to this person another you know local person can come with the same condition and he might not get what he needs because it was used on this other person i totally understand what she is saying but she's saying it to the patient which is wrong which is unethical she should take this to the politicians she should take this to the people that are um in charge or, or in control. So I thought that was really not nice to do as a doctor because the patient is someone that just needed help and that was there. And I thought it was unfortunate, but the points she raised, I believe were true. And this is something that, you know, governments, not just Zimbabwean government, but every government need to think about if you don't put your people first if you don't um, build the hospitals the schools that need to be built your own people are gonna want those things and are gonna risk their lives to escape their own country and that's not right if every country in africa did that no one will be dying in boats trying to escape their situation or in the desert like people will stay in their own country work hard and change their lives but we're not being given those opportunities hence why we're risking our own lives so it's just sad all around but you know at the end of the day i don't think the doctor needed to do that or say that to the patient but i also don't want us to forget that what she's saying is accurate and our governments need to do better Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zal Alam. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.